tracking a developing situation tonight out of Grayling. That's where a 3,000 acre wildfire has been burning since 1 p.m. yesterday. The fire launched evacuation efforts and closed large stretches of major roadways, but crews are starting to get control. We head now to Victor Williams and Victor, the DNR and other agencies work through the night. Oh yeah, Will and Priya, you know, this fire just continues to be devastating. The good news at least is that that evacuation order has now been lifted. On top of that, 85% of those flames are now contained, but crews are still working on that remaining 15%. There is a line that the fire is not spreading. The rest of it has potential to spread or is not contained yet. DNR Representative Lori Abel speaking on the work that's already being done to stop a massive wildfire on a trail southeast of Grayling. We are still at extreme fire conditions. Um, we are preparing right now to um, try to get this to a level where we can hand it over to the local unit from a state overhead position. Um, we'd like to be able to just turn this over and be prepared for the next big one that is potential of burning just as much as yesterday's did. One of the main issues has been the lack of rainfall causing the fire to spread about 2,400 acres of land. I haven't seen rain in way too long. Could use a good drop. As of now, multiple crews are battling the blaze. We had several local fire departments that were on yesterday and several that are on today, as well as the DNR, um, U.S. Forest Service, and um, Bureau of Land Management. So we have several cooperators all working together, um, putting this thing out. However, at the end of the day, it was a campfire that originally ignited the flames. Just another reminder to be careful in order to prevent forest fires. Use caution, 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 caution. Campfires can cause a lot of damage, and although it's not illegal to have a campfire, definitely use caution. And we know that several structures were threatened by these flames, but as it turns out right now, there was no damage to them. But we do know that MSP is assisting with the helicopter in the sky with the bird's eye view of what's going on down below.